I'm with Samuel Lawrence of Samuel Lawrence and they have an eclectic collection of cars here today. We're still right in front of this DS21 at the moment and now Samuel's going to tell us a little bit more about it. Yeah, we, we, we purchased it from the second owner who had purchased a car from his boss back right. in, the, in the early 80s. Um, he purchased it, a labour of love, he left Citroen as a mechanic and then set about the rebuild just to bring it up to this level. Right. And then carried on that maintenance throughout the, its 33 year ownership. This car's a Concours winner, yes? This car has been European champion since to, uh, go back to 1987 when it won its first Benson Hedges trophy. And since then it's maintained, I think it's got you know, 14 now Benson Hedges trophies, um, over 200 Concours wins. Okay, so what is this car going to be selling for? It's on the market now for 90,000. The DS series was famous, of course, for it's, its suspension. Yeah, I mean, uh, re revolutionary. I mean, you know, the lights that follow corners now on, on modern Range Rovers, I mean, that originated from this, this very mark. It's, the suspension, yeah, hydraulic is. Let's talk about the Bentley now. We've got, okay. an, S, we've got an S3 over here. Yeah, we have, yeah, and, the Bentley uh, S3. There's a bit of history on this car. It's a 64, so 63, 64, um, produced in drophead coupe variety and, and, and the standard coupe. So and we have the coupe here today. And how many miles is this car? Do you, do you have an idea of how many car yeah, miles? Yeah, I mean, th they go on forever, but this one's done 65,000 miles. Um, it's finished in gunmetal grey with red interior. It's retailing today at 125,000 pounds. Um, we've had it new to launch to this very show. It hasn't been available on the market. It will sell for near that, near that price. Okay. And, and in, in the current climate, when you have DB4 selling for three, four, five hundred thousand pounds, yeah. You know, a car that was almost double the price back in 64 of that very Aston Martin is now a fraction of the cost. And it's a very long car as well. It is long, 5.6 metres, I believe. Yeah, it's a 5.6, 5.7 metres. Let's, let's talk about the, the Shelby area. now. The Shelby is a very special yeah, car as it well. Is. The Shelby is the GT500 from 67. It's been in the UK for quite a while. Yeah. It's, it's been over here and then it fell into the hands of a, a loving owner who decided to give the car to a, a, a well-respected restorer called Alan Faulkner mm -hmm. of uh, Dragon Restoration and he when he finishes one of his cars, he puts a dragon symbol on the engine bay and, and everyone looks for the dragon rather yeah. than the Shelby badge. It's and again, the valuation of that Shelby? What's it's that on the market for? for 170. Last but not least, you've got a Diablo over there, which Summit, is one of the Summit. very rare right-hand drive versions. It is, it is. It's a VT Roadster, yeah. one, of one of 20 built. Um, right-hand drive, one owner, fortunately, um, we, we managed to find the car. It was the best of the best. It's, it's permanent four-wheel drive. It is a Roadster. And the value of that? That's up to 235, 235,000 pounds, which again, looking forward, I mean, that's a car of my generation personally, and a car that was a poster pinup, yeah. much the same as many other marks have been in the past. I think that's a great, great buy. I think that's a half a million pound car in six years. Samuel, thank you very much for your time today. We wish you all the best yeah. and having a good show. Thanks very much. Thank guys. you.